Hello, 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 Cancer. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. Thank you all for joining me for another reading. I want to thank you all and my new subscribers too for staying a part of my platform. Thank you for joining my platform. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please pass this on for other people who may be interested. So I'm wanting to do a, um, a future love reading for you all, Cancer. I've already done some pre-shuffling. We're just going to go straight into the reading. Future love reading for the Cancer. Future love reading for the Cancer. Holding on to your feelings and emotions, Cancer. Uh, you want to, a higher form of kid. You literally want to be in a relationship, okay? But you've been holding by yourself, holding on right now, being by yourself because you've been hurt before. You want a committed relationship with someone. You want to be happy with someone, but you can't let go of past hurts and pains. But letting go of whatever you've been through in your past regarding other relationships, once you let that go, Cancer, you're going to be blessed with something else. Your relationship that you were with in the past, it wasn't happy. It wasn't happy. Okay? Maybe you were married in the past, and that's why you're holding on right now to your feelings. This is probably why you're so afraid of a, of a maybe you're a commitment foe, uh, and that's through no fault of your own. It's just the fact that you've been hurt before. You don't want to go through what you've been through before. But you have two cups of love waiting for you, and it's five of cups. You're crying over spilled milk. You're worried about the past. You don't want to be hurt anymore. You're probably married before, engaged before, and it didn't work out, or you're just probably in a serious relationship and it didn't work out. Check it out, resonate. Okay. Clarify this uh, this four of uh, pentacles. Clarify the four of pentacles. Why are you holding on so tight? Third party situation. Maybe someone cheated on on you, and that you love this person. It was a, it was supposed to be a serious relationship, but a person cheated, and this is why you can't get out of this third party situation. You, somebody cheated. Okay, you're stuck because you had a third party situation that 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 hurt your that broke your heart, um, but. You have to remember one thing, you know, just because one person hurt you cancer doesn't mean that someone else will. Let this past go. Let the three-party situation go. It's over with. It's, it's um, milk spill. It's water under the bridge. You have a new love that's coming for you. There's two of cups that's coming for you. On the side of your, on the other side of your pain, you have a beautiful love affair that's coming your way with somebody that's going to be a total blessing to you. They're going to make you happy. They're going to be fair with you. They're going to love you and respect you. They're going to honor you. And you're going to honor them. Okay? They're going to make you happy. Because we have the happiest moment called we have the happiest part in the deck. Okay. You're focused on this relationship and what you've been through before. But even though you're still focused on that, that's okay. But you have to remember you have other things coming for you that you're not even seeing financially and in the love department. Something good is coming your way. It's time. The universe is making this judgment for you, okay? Because you're really, really focused on being hurt and being stagnant and being stuck. There's new opportunities coming for you financially with work that you're not even seeing. Maybe a raise, maybe a new job. Definitely a, a, a relationship that's going to be balanced and honor is just going to honor you. And this person is going to come in and they're going to sweep you off your feet. They're going to communicate. Yep, they're going to come. They're going to, it's going to be a, a situation here where it's going to be fair. It's going to be balanced. They're going to talk to you honest about how they feel about you. They're going to tell you that they care about you. They're going to tell you at some point that they love you. You make them happy and they make you happy. You have a love, a new love coming into your life, Cancer. It's almost as if you have a new love coming into your life. Be prepared. Act like it because it's coming. Whether you're ready for it or not, it's coming for you. It's your choice whether you choose to get to know this person. But work on getting over your past. This past is over with. Let the past go. You have a higher form of a commitment. Early, early on in, the, in this reading, somebody wants to come in and, and sweep you off of your feet and make you happy. I'm not saying that they're going to come in and, and introduce themselves. Hey, I'm Thomas. Will you marry me? It's not going to be like that. They're going to, they are in it for the, they are in it to win. They're going to be in it to get to know you better. And it's going to lead to a very serious, beautiful relationship with this person. But you have to let go of what you've been through in the past. Don't let this past hurt your future relationship. Okay, you've, you've gotten over this person. You've left this person behind. It's time for you to move forward with the new offer that's coming for you. OK, uh, you probably have been offered so less in your re you've been offered less in your relationships than what you've given. And that's that's what's caused your heart to break. And that's what's caused you to be so unbelieving and thinking that you 
that you deserve love. You do deserve love. You have somebody who's going to come in and offer up their feelings and emotions for to you. Okay. You have somebody who's going to make you very happy. You're going to make them very happy. They're going to be open and honest with their feelings. They're not going to be sneaky with how they feel. They're going to come up. They're going to be upfront and honest. Let's, let's just say this. Cancer, this person is not going to be afraid to tell you how they feel. And they're not going to be afraid to show you how they feel. They're going to show you in more ways than one that, that, that you turn them on. This is a freak. And, and that's not saying that that's a freak in a bad way. That's a freak in a good way because you're going to marry your, you're going to get to the point to where you want to be in a deep soul committed relationship with this person. This person is, is, is very, very in tune with you. They're going to be so in tune with you that you all are going to melt together like butter. Okay. It's coming. They're coming for you. Changes. Will of fortune. It's, a, it's, it's slowly turning for you in your favor, but that's good. Probably meet this person online. I have a lot of meetups online and stuff. You're probably deciding to maybe date, online date, or meet someone on a social platform or social media or something like that, okay? But you're going to meet someone. Maybe a Virgo. Your your uh, world is changing. Your happiness is, is going to be uh, duplicated, okay? You want to be happy, yes. And that person who, who you're going to meet is a secret right now. You don't know who it is, but they definitely are, are looking to meet someone like you. And they're coming. It's slow. The process is coming for for to you to meet this new love. The wheels are turning here in your in your honor. Slow at first, yes, because you have to get to know this person. But what you don't know is it's happening sooner than you think. No more leaving out in the cold. No more feeling like you are unworthy of a relationship because you're remembering your worth. You're remembering your power. You're remembering how blue, beautiful you are. Maybe your favorite color is blue. And honoring who you are, your divinity. You've been alone for yourself. You probably spent a lot of time alone at home by yourself, doing nothing, watching TV. Okay? But the universe wants to change that. The universe wants to add someone to your life. It wants to change you being alone sooner than later. It doesn't want you to spend another year being single. You've got to meet somebody who's going to, who's going to be with you. Uh, somebody who is going to match your wits, somebody who's going to honor who you are. They're going to respect you. They're going to love you. They're going to honor you. And you're not going to be alone anytime. Not for, not, not long. You're not going to be alone any long. You're not going to have, I can't even talk y'all. You are not going to be alone. You're not going to be alone too much longer, cancer. Okay. This is going to change for you. You're manifesting good, true love coming into your life and you're not even realizing it because you're doing the right things. It's just that you're not thinking, you're not feeling that that you are doing the right things to, to bring love into your life, but you are. You do have somebody beautiful, amazing coming into your life. This person is going to help you conquer your fears, okay? You're taking this leap of faith and you, you are growing leaps and bounds, <clears throat> talking to yourself positive, uh, pulling in job interviews, jobs, telling people how you feel, not letting people run all over you. You're standing up for yourself. And that way, you're, you're not only when you stand up for yourself, people notice that. You stand up. When you stand up, you stand out and people see you. So you have somebody coming in who's going to help heal your broken heart. So get ready. You have these, this person coming to you very, very soon. They're, they're coming. And they're going to be your pathway to happiness. You have someone coming into your life that's going to be the pathway to your happiness. And they're going to be a very playful person. They're going to like to go out and just have fun, go to comedy clubs, laughing, getting together with you, hanging out, um, just going somewhere and just driving in a corner in a car, sitting next to the river and watching the, the water ripple in the ocean and, and, and just doing something different, stuff that you aren't used to. They're going to show you how to enjoy yourself. This, this person is going to make your mouth just water. This person is going to make your mouth water because they're going to be so pleasing to the eye. Okay. They're going to be very passionate. I see a lot of, of, of sex, a lot of intimacy between you two. And this person is not going to be afraid to pleasure themselves in front of you. This person is very, very sexual and probably so are you. They're going to show you some things. They're going to show you not to how not to be so shy in the bedroom, how to give in to what you feel in the bedroom. They're going to tell you, they're going to say, how do you want it? Tell me how you want it. How can I please you? I want to do this the way you want me to do it. They want you to be open and honest when it comes to sex. 
Okay, and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring this romance to you. And like I said, you're manifesting this. You're manifesting some things about your career too that's going to change. This person is coming into your life is going to be uh, in a past life relationship. Maybe you've known this person before in your life. Maybe you've uh, went to school with this person and you probably ran into this first person a few times and you all lost touch. This is going to be a relationship that could lead to some kind of engagement and to a wedding. Yeah, you're going to be married to this person. This person you're going to meet is going to be your soulmate. Free yourself from all the negativity. They're going to help you free yourself from what's keeping you back. They're going to show you and prove to you that you deserve to be loved. They're going to take you away on nice retreats, you all, where you all can just let loose. Because this person likes to enjoy themselves. They like to go out and have fun. They're not a stick in the mud. They don't let they don't let their feet, they don't let grass grow under their feet. They're going to take you away and just to celebrate with them. It's all about them separating themselves from the world and getting getting with you, getting to know you better. Because they don't want you to think of them as being a deceptive person. And they don't want... They don't want to think that you're a deceptive person either. That's why you all need to get to know each other better. Because this is going to happen for you very, very soon, Gemini. I'm sorry, Cancer. Maybe it's a Gemini you're hooking up with. But this is going to happen for you very, very soon. This person is going to, to flirt with you. And, and, and this they're going to know that you're their soulmate at some point. Okay? They're coming. It may be a burden right now for you. But this person that's coming into your life is going to be the most sexual person that you've ever met. And you all are going to be, be really attracted to this person. You're going to have a new love coming into your life. Forgiving and learning from the past. What went on in your past, let it go. It's over with. Welcome this new love that's coming into your life. It's a long process to get to this point because this is a future love reading for you. But something is burdening you about a past relationship. Let that go and welcome this new, attractive, beautiful, handsome person that's coming into your life. This is going to be the love of a lifetime, but also it's going to be a sexual, it's going to be a relationship that's full of sex that, that, that you haven't even dreamed about yet. It's going to be a beautiful sexual relationship. This person knows about sex. This person is, their forte is good love making. Okay. And, and that's not, that's, that's not them bragging. That's just who they are. Of oh, this new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, and codependency. You you're used to, to to scrubs. You're used to people that are no good. This person is all good in more ways than one. They're going to show you what love is all about. They're going to come in and, and show you how it, how it is to be pleased by someone instead of pleasing someone. They're going to be the one to doing all the pleasing when it comes to you. And don't worry about that. That's just how they are. They have a giving personality. And they're going to show you just how much they love you and care about you and want to get to know you. They're coming fast. So you might as well get out that, that eight of cup, that eight of, of ones mentality because they're coming at you fast. And they want to welcome, they want you to welcome them in their life. They may, they have, may have some money too, but they're standing in strong in their emperor power and they're coming for their star. And their star player is you because they know that you work very, very hard and they're coming for you. They're coming for their star player. They're coming to find the love of their life. It's like Superman is coming to find, no, nope, take that back. Coming to America. It's as if the prince is coming to find his princess. The universe is saying, you are not going to have just a regular chick here. This is not going to be just a regular prince. You're going to find your queen. That's what you're looking for. You're looking, The king is looking for his queen, and you're going to find it. But is the queen willing to accept the offer? Because this offer here, the, the sex, is off the chain. Okay? The sex is off the chain. Well, I mean, this person, this emperor here, look, you think you've had good sex before? In the past, Cancer, you ain't seen nothing yet. This emperor here and this tree here in the background says it all. It's on. Maybe an older, whatever. But this person is going to show you what it's like to feel love, to be loved. And that's going to show you how it feels to be admired in a sexual way. Okay? I hope this resonates. And good luck on your new love affair. But learn how to forgive and learn that past and let it go. Don't let it mess up this future relationship. Okay? Talk to you soon.